Good afternoon. Welcome to the Business Sense channel. Today I wanted to uh, have a topic on prison stocks, a very controversial topic, uh, full of controversy all over the Western world right now, especially here in the U.S. You know, a lot of politicians working, a lot of activists working on, you know, trying to reform this entire criminal justice system. But a lot of people don't realize how big of a business the criminal justice system is. And even with the, uh, you know, the marijuana play that's happening, you know, from Canada to the U.S., you know, trying to legalize marijuana. You know, it's already legalized throughout Canada, but uh, it's being pushed to potentially be legalized throughout the U.S. And... Um, Politicians and activists, uh, a lot of people are working on this, this, this particular endeavor. And a lot of people don't realize that one of the things that are holding uh, the process up is, you know, a lot of ex-offenders. A lot of people have been incarcerated for, for minor crimes, you know, in the criminal justice system pertaining to marijuana. And then you have on one hand, you know, people and companies trying to push, you know, marijuana to get it legalized. A lot of players in the game, they want this thing to happen. You know, it's a lot of money to be made. But, you know, they're having a problem. You know, it's like, hey, what do we do with all of these people over here, you know, that we, you know, locked up? And, you know, what, what do we do and how do we manage that once marijuana is legal? It's a, it's a big question that we all, we all want to know. And, um, you know, but again, I mean, you know, the, the uh, criminal justice system is a huge, huge business. So these two, these two companies that I'm speaking of are for-profit prisons, okay? They, um, they contract with the government you know, to, to basic, basically manage the uh, inmate population. You know, that's basically what they do. They offer housing, they offer health care, um, food services, um, uh, post-incarceration services, technical services. It's, it's a lot that they do, and they are huge, okay? So I'm going to show you What's entailed with making this into this? Okay, now first is the GEO group. Okay, the GEO group again, ticker GEO. Okay, GEO under the New York Stock Exchange. Roughly right now, the GEO group is trading for roughly $16 a share. Okay, it's a pretty huge company. It has a market cap of about a, you know, $1.95 billion market cap. Okay, it has a P.E. ratio of 12.01 uh, of, of times earnings, which is pretty nice P.E. ratio. It's, 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 it's very low in the greater scheme of things. Um, the 52-week range of this stock is $13.28 to about $24.03. So it's, it's trading closer to its 52 week low than it is its 52 week high. So it does have some room, some room to run. Okay. Um, the biggest thing about this stock, the big money maker is its dividend. Okay. The dividend, the dividend payout is basically 11.80% percent, which equates to 48 cents a share. So ultimately, let's just um, imagine if we had $10,000, you take $10,000 and you buy the GEO group, okay? So you take $10,000 divided roughly by $16 will give you about 625 shares. You take 625 shares, okay, times 0.48 cents per share will give you $300 quarterly. So that's a serious money maker on a $10,000 investment. Okay. Now let's switch over to <coughs> Core Civic. Core Civic is also trading roughly $16 a share, a little over. They tend to trail one another. 
Okay, the 52 week range for Core Civic is 1468. Okay, to $24.38. The market cap for Core Civic is uh, 1.92 billion. So it's about a, uh, you know, it's it's a little off of from uh, from the Geo Group, but again, they 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 trade very very close. All right. Um, the P.E. ratio for Core Civic is 10.21 times earnings, okay? And the, uh, the, the, the quarterly dividend is 10.90%, okay? At a uh, dividend payment of 44 cents per share, okay? So they're only, they're only about uh, 4 cents off. So if you do that same math with the GEO Group, the ten thousand dollars divided by the sixteen, you get the uh, three hundred dollars a quarter. If you do that same math with Core Civic, you get about two hundred and seventy-five dollars per quarter. So that's every ninety days. These companies, once you store your money in them, will spit you out cash flow every quarter of two hundred and seventy-five to three hundred three hundred dollars. Okay, that's every three months. Okay, give or take. All right. But that's what the dividend payments are. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, dividend payments do increase, um, you know, share prices rise and fall. We all know that. So if you get in cheap, a little cheaper, you make a little more money. You get in a little higher, you make a little less money. But I just wanted to share with you, you know, uh, 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 you know, the controversy and the business relationship be behind some of these companies. Me. I'm not invested in any of these companies. I don't feel comfortable at this time uh, investing in any of these companies. Uh, the older I get, the more I, I, I learn um, uh, about this gray area <laughs> that we all live in. And uh, it's pretty deep. It's very, very deep of how of how the world moves. And, um, you know, you can take it for what you want. My job is not to uh, talk down on anything or to even augment anything. You know, my job is basically to, you know, to expose um, investment opportunities, to educate my viewers and to, uh, you know, to to increase economic participation. And this may not be a stock that you want to participate in. You may or you may not want to. You know, that's 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 your decision and solely your decision. However, a lot of people may also not understand that they are there are a lot of huge, very, very well known corporations. I'm talking, you know, humongous financial institutions that are household names for some people that have that have or are still invested into these companies and one that everybody has heard of the Vanguard group you know Vanguard group is pretty much in <laughs> in most of these major securities um, you know uh, uh, across the New York Stock Exchange uh, another one that's that that everyone has heard of is uh the BlackRock BlackRock company you know um you know Prudential Financial Group is um is is also uh in in heavily invested in these companies and these these are just just three players that are invested so a lot of times we tend to think about you know um not getting our hands dirty we want to stay we want to stay clean and we don't want to do this and we don't want to do that meanwhile you know, you're working your nine to five and you have a pension, you may not even realize that, you know, some of your pension dollars might even be invested into some of these companies. So, you know, sometimes, you know, don't be so quick, you know, to jump to conclusions, just educate yourself, find out how things work, and then you can properly choose what you do or do not want to be engaged in. So that was just, uh, you know, some of the things that I wanted to share with you today have been on my mind and I, I just wanted to put that content out there. I hope, uh, you know, some of you got something from it. Um, you know, marinate on it a little while and, you know, share it with the people around you. And, uh, you know, if you like this content, you know, give me a thumbs up, you know, so uh, I can be encouraged and, you know, my team can be encouraged to dig, 
you know, for for uh, more information and more content, you know, to put out there for you all to enjoy and learn and also grow from. And, uh, you know, remember, you know, <laughs> business makes good sense. Later.